Hey, this is Stu, and I'm here to talk to you about the all-new Magic Bullet Denoiser 3. Now, no matter what kind of camera you're using, at some point you're probably going to encounter some kind of digital noise that you don't like and you want to clean up a little bit. Magic Bullet Denoiser has always been a great choice for this. We have started over from scratch, though, and rewritten it from the ground up with an all-new noise reduction algorithm that is better and faster than ever before, and maybe most importantly, easier to use. So let's apply Magic Bullet Denoiser 3 to this clip. And you can see right off the bat that the interface is incredibly simple. We only have five sliders. Reduce noise, smooth colors, preserve detail, and then under sharpen, we have amount and radius. And that is it. Now, how is that even possible? The answer is our entirely new algorithm under the hood. What Denoiser 3 is doing is analyzing every single frame of your video, creating a noise profile, automatically determining how best to remove that noise, and then just giving you control over how hard it should work to do that. So I'm gonna turn off this denoiser effect. I'm gonna turn on this colorista, which is just a, a light color correction that I've done on this footage here. Now this is a shot from the 5D Mark III, and it was shot kind of in the dark a little bit. And so it's noisy, it's also not particularly sharp. There's a lot of color blocking from the compression. It's a typical DSLR shot. Let's see what denoiser can do with it. So let's just turn on denoiser at the default settings and you can see already everything is looking better. The noise is cleaned up in his cheek a little bit. The only thing I might wanna do is just turn up the sharpening. So let's turn up the sharpening a little bit and let's do a little before and after. So here's before and here's after. Before and after. On this shot, I'm actually gonna turn reduce noise down a little bit, but I'm gonna turn smooth colors up a little bit. Now I think that's looking pretty good. Okay, so that's all well and good, but what about performance? Well, on this consumer grade iMac here, I've got my playback resolution set to half. This is an HD shot. So I'm just gonna rewind and hit play. And what you can see is that Denoiser is gonna play back in real time. Now that's not always gonna be true, depending on your settings and depending on your hardware, but what we've done with Denoiser is create an adaptive playback system. Because we know that oftentimes if you're working in Premiere, you've got this playback resolution set to something other than full, we recognize that and we simplify the processing for playback. The point here is that we want you to feel confident to apply Denoiser to any shot you want and just keep working and not have to worry about turning it on and off. Okay, that's fine, but how well does Denoiser do on a really difficult shot? Let's check it out. So this shot is a 4K log shot and it was shot in a very dark setting. So what I'm gonna do again is I'm gonna start with Colorista and just apply a nice log lookup table to it to just get some contrast. Maybe do a little adjustment to the color. And at this point now, I think you can see that I'm really bringing out quite a bit, but let's zoom in and just confirm that yes, this shot is very, very noisy. Okay, let's see what Denoiser can do. So I'm gonna apply Denoiser before the Colorista, and you can see that at the default settings, it is removing some of the noise, but we need to make it work a little harder. So let's turn up Reduce Noise. I'm gonna turn it almost all the way up, and you can see it's working wonders, but I still have that color noise, so let's also turn Smooth Colors up. In general, you can crank these sliders up as far as you want. We've worked really hard to make sure that there aren't any negative artifacts when you turn this slider up really, really high. All that's happening under the hood is that the algorithms are trying harder, looking at more adjacent frames, which does mean that the render time is gonna go up a little bit the higher you move these sliders, but I promise you, you're always gonna get faster results than you would with a previous denoiser. There's also this preserve detail control here. If I was worried that I was losing any important detail in her skin, I could crank this up a little bit. This is gonna be a bit of a trade-off between noise and detail, but I'm pretty happy with what I'm getting here. And the last thing I'm gonna do again is just turn up the sharpening a little bit, maybe increase the radius of the sharpening. All right, so let's do a quick before and after here. Before denoiser and after. Now again, if I zoom out and hit play, denoiser is gonna recognize that I've got quarter res selected here as my proxy playback, and it's gonna do its best to play back in real time. And it's doing it, which is amazing. Now the quality isn't the same when it's playing back, but as soon as you park on a frame, you get that full res quality. Once I render that, you can see what it's gonna look like at full resolution. Here's another really difficult shot. This is a 5D Mark II shot in Tokyo at night, almost in complete darkness. I'm gonna apply Magic Bolt looks to this shot to just show you how important it is to have noise reduction as an option when you're going for a strong stylized look. I'm gonna apply one of our new look presets to this shot and I go into my footages and bump up the exposure a little bit. And now you can really see just how incredibly noisy this shot is. It's really not surviving this color correction very well at all. 
So let's see what denoiser can do about it. Pop that in front of looks, already better, but let's turn up reduce noise. Let's go to 95% on this guy, 95% on smooth colors as well. Now that to me is just pretty incredible. I'm also gonna increase the sharpness a little bit. Okay, now notice that we've completely smoothed him up, but all the sharp detail in his hat is preserved. In fact, if anything, there's almost too much cleanup going on on this shot. I would probably wanna add a little bit of noise after the fact to this uh, using Magic Bullet Renoiser. And again, this will play back in real time with the adaptive playback settings, but then as soon as you park on a frame, you get the great high quality results. Render it, and you can see the full res quality. So that's Magic Bullet Denoiser 3, an all new GPU optimized noise reduction algorithm under the hood, the best and fastest we've ever created, with a simplified user interface that gets you great results quickly, and optimized playback so you can apply it to any shot you want at any point in your editing process without changing how you work.